Got another exam question walkthrough for A-level chemistry. So this is number 12 in the carbonyl compounds playlist. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. Question suitable for all of the major exam boards, and I really hope you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do that. Uh, but as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So part A, the test to show that the carbonyl compound produced was an aldehyde. Add Tollens reagent, or you could say add silver nitrate and ammonia, and the result is a silver mirror is produced. Next part, this non-spectroscopic method that enables you to tell what the aldehydes are. So you would add 2,4-DNP, or you could say 2,4-DNPH, 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine, and I've got an extra bit of information here that's not needed for this one, but sometimes they might require it if there was more marks available. You would purify the orange precipitate that's produced by recrystallization. Once you've done that, you would measure the melting point of your precipitate, and then you would compare the melting point to data values, and that melting point will be specific to the original carbonyl compound, so it can tell you which aldehyde you've got. Moving on to part B, so there's the information that we were given at the start of the question. So I've drawn a, a red line through the double bond that's broken. I've done the same here with pentwonine, which means that the products are going to be methanol and butanol. Done exactly the same thing for the 2-methylbutuene. So you can see that the products are going to be propanone and ethanol. And finally, part C, there's the structure of 2-methylhexane-1,6-diol. And then finally, identifying the cycloalkene that's produced this diol. Well, imagine connecting these two carbons back together to create the ring. And where you've connected it, it it's going to be a CC double bond. So it's going to look like that. And then just imagine the reverse. You break that double bond, the ring opens up, and you would generate that. 